Damanesi here. I'm coming to you from Downey, California. It's Monday night here and it's been raining like cats and dogs for days now. They say it's the most rain we've had in maybe 20 years. Today I'd like to talk to you about the Wilton Bench Vice. This one here happens to be the 450. It's what they call the Machinist Vice. It's a rigid base vice that I've made a small modification to to make it a swivel vise. So let's get into that. The Wilton line of vices are generally known to be pretty good vices. This one is what they call the 70,000 PSI cast iron and it's a four, four and a half inch jaw vise and like I said before it's on the rigid base. I like the rigid base because it makes it very strong for torquing down on the vise but you don't have the versatility that you sometimes need, especially in a small shop like I have. You need to be able to move the vise around. So what I've made here is a modification to have the strength of the rigid base, but the flexibility of a swivel base. So I'll show you how we put that together. The vise is mounted to this plate that's 7 eighths plate steel and it's 7 inches in diameter and there is a solid two and a half inch welded to this plate and that solid is in this column so two and a half inch pipe and I have welded two three eighths sixteen nuts and there are two three eighths sixteen socket head cap screws here and now it's allowed to swivel. This solid is running on rollers under here. I'll show that to you in a little bit. You can put it in any position that you want to and then you crank down on your socket head cap screws and that holds your vise quite rigidly in that position. You crank those down and for most work that you do when you crank on these really tight that holds it, holds it quite good. But if you really need to torque down on your vise, then that's what this hole is for. There are four of these around the column, and they correspond to a drilled and tapped hole in the solid. And that's drilled and tapped at half 13. I'll spin it around here and you'll see it up here. You see it there? Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see that. There it is a little closer. So as you turn the vise, you have four positions. This is position number one. Then you take your socket head cap screw, that's half inch 13. You put that in there. Now when you tighten that down, clamp it down pretty tight, and you take these, you clamp these down, Clamp those down really tight, tighter than I'm doing right now. That makes this vise effectively a rigid vise in this position. You're not going to break that. That half 13 has a sheer strength that is unbelievable. Your vise will break or the work will bend or break before this will ever move. Let's take this off of here and I'll show you the rollers that it's running on. Here we are with a look underneath the vise, you can see this plate that's 7 eighths by 7 inches in diameter and that is drilled and tapped here and here with a half inch 13 and that's how the vise is connected to the plate and then on the bottom of the plate I've welded a two and a half inch by four inch solid I thought that solid would be better than a piece of pipe and in that solid we've drilled and tapped one hole half inch 13 and that's the one that corresponds to the four different holes on the column and this is all greased up right now because it makes it roll good and then the bottom of this runs inside the column on rollers so that number one it's really smooth and number two we need clearance for this weld so it doesn't run on the top of the pipe of the column 
Let me show you that. Here's the column. And down inside the column, you can see all that grease in there. There are rollers. There's two of them. And they're held in by this bolt on the side. And we have shaved off all the threads off of that bolt, so it's nice and smooth. And I'll give you a visual representation of what that looks like on the bench. And it works so good. Here's a close-up of what the rollers look like. I've taken a rod here, and I've put two pieces of tubing on there. Incidentally, my son cut these on the horizontal bandsaw. We'll put a shot of him doing that at the end. He really knows what he's doing. I'm proud of that boy. So here we have the rollers. This is what's in the bottom of the column. I have a little piece of S7 here that represents the solid that the vise is attached to. That goes down in the column like that and then when you swivel the vise those roll independently. Makes it real smooth. Pretty simple deal. Works really good. Very happy with it. Hope you like that too. Of course, these are all packed with grease down in there. Want everything to be smooth and don't want anything rusting. I hope you like the Wilton Bench Vice Swivel Mod as much as I do. I'd like to thank you for watching today. If you liked the video, please subscribe and push like. Leave comments, I love reading them. All the music you heard is original music by my daughter, Shannon Dominesi. I'm so happy, happy with her doing that. She's so good at it. Thank you, Shannon, for everything you do for my videos. I'd like to thank my son. He's in homeschool, and we spend a lot of time in the shop together. It's good to be in the shop with your son. So thank you, and David Dominesi, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Good job, buddy. Thank you.